Now, last week we talked about the raspberry bush, but now the raspberry bush has been cut down. Let's have a look. They've also had a bit of a bit of a go around of the whole garden, really, including this lovely tree. The tree has also been cut down, but don't fear because next year the tree will grow again. Over here, you can see some lovely autumnal colours with these reds, yellows, and just about holding out some lovely fresh green. Really nice colours that really set the scene for a lovely autumn garden. Weather's starting to get slightly chilly, but we haven't got our coats on yet. Come round here, let's have a proper view of the garden this time because really what you've seen so far is just the tip of the iceberg. Have a look at this. Great bit of bush there. If you have a look at the grass here, it's actually doing quite well. These luscious, luscious blades of grass, really, really flourishing. Take this for example. Lovely, lovely dark colours there. Soon that will be part of the earth. And a nice yellow one there. Now we've seen all those radiant colours of autumn, I'm going to take a nice seat and have a look. And what I've also noticed in this lovely garden is this here trellis. If you can see these berries here, these are not edible. These berries really add something special to the garden. Now let's have a look around here. As you can see, it really has been through the weather. Rotten, old, and had it. Yes, the trellis is completely had it. This trellis is not particularly well made, but it has lasted for several years. Today we've got a visitor in the garden who seems particularly interested in our camera, but we won't say any more about it. One of the most important things all plants need is water. And that's why I'm here watering these pot plants, because they particularly suffer when there's little rainfall. And that's the end of this week's Garden Treats. I'll see you next time.